Hello, everyone, and welcome to 4 a.m. <laughs> My name is Kasanis. Guys, in this episode of Unity 2D Rigging, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at 2D lighting. We've got ourselves a character, we've got that character animated, and now I want to make sure that that character looks good through appropriate lighting. All right, so let's get started. All right, guys, so this is a brand new scene. Uh, it's an entirely different character. This is a non-zombified Kasanis, and let's take a look at what we've got right now. Right now, you can see the character is just a silhouette, all black, missing some things here because I've designed it a little bit differently than I designed the, the uh, zombie. But let's hit play. Okay, there we go. We've got ourselves a really simple character idol. There's our character idling away. I've got a really simple walk set up and different states for this character to go into, healthy, hurt, or near death. But right now, we can't see any of this. Like, right? oh, he's got a pistol, but what does that pistol look like? Okay, oh, well, now he's got two pistols. What does that look like? You know, and I've got all these different things set up, but we can't see anything at all uh, with this current state system. Now the reason why is we have no lights in our scene. Now in the past what we would have had to do is we would have had to uh, utilize Unity's 3D lighting if we wanted to light this properly or completely utilized unlit lighting for a 2D game which is what almost everyone did in the past. But Unity decided hey we're tired of this and now they've set up a 2D lighting system that's available through the Lightweight and the Universal Render Pipelines. It's experimental at this point in time. While I'm making this video, this, this idea is completely experimental. Uh, but they've got this these different lights that are set up to allow us to create lighting for our 2D games, which is super awesome. All right. Before we can begin at all, we can't just simply, well, I could right now because I've got it all set up, but you can't just simply add lights to your scene and have it work the way you want it to. We have to go through and manipulate and change a bunch of things before we can get started. Okay, so before we're going to do that, we're going to have to go through and we're going to have to set up a number of different things. Okay, let's take a look at setting up a 2D lighting system. Okay guys, so a couple things that we need to do before we can begin. If you are starting a brand new project, you're going to want to make sure that you've got yourself either the lightweight or universal pipeline uh, set up. That's what you're going to want to make sure you have set up. If you're converting it, you're going to want to actually go in and add the lightweight or universal render pipeline installed. So let's make sure we are already set up. I know I am, but I'll show you how to do it. We're going to go under Window, we're going to go under Package Manager, and under Package Manager, you're going to scrub down until you find Universal uh, Pipeline, our Universal Render Pipeline is there, or our Lightweight, which is H-I-J-K-L, Lightweight, right here. All right, so my Lightweight is also set up, my Lightweight Render Pipeline. Both of them are installed and ready to use. They're both up to date. Yours, if you do not have this installed appropriately, will say install here or, or download and then install. So make sure that you've got it all set up and that you either have the Universal Render Pipeline or the Lightweight uh, Pipeline set up and operational. Okay. There's a couple other things we still need to do. We need to do a bunch of things to, to set this thing up properly. We're going to want to make sure that we've got a render pipeline asset and a 2D renderer. So let me just close this off for now. And I've already got mine set up. So I've got mine under pipeline assets right here. And I can see that I've got myself a universal render pipeline asset as well as a 2D renderer. You have to set both of these things up in your project for this to work properly. We're going to use the, it's in the project itself. So we're going to use the create button. So under create, uh, we're going to find ourselves rendering, and once you've got rendering, you're going to find the pipeline you're using, and from there, you're going to create a pipeline asset. The pipeline asset will, in turn, create this particular game object right here, and you can see I've got an opportunity to add a particular renderer to my render list, and that's what I want to do. I want to add the 2D renderer that's going to support the 2D lighting, and this is completely experimental at this point in time, so if I go in here and once again I say create, and I go back to rendering, and I find universal pipeline again, and I scrub down, I will find my 2D renderer right here, it's experimental as it suggests, all right? And when I create it, it's going to add this 2D renderer. Now I've got to make sure that my pipeline asset has that 2D renderer in place, so I'm simply going to drag and drop it in place so I've got the 2D rendering system set up. Awesome! 
Now we want to make sure we're actually utilizing our universal render pipeline asset. And in order to do so, we're going to go up to edit. We're going to find our project settings right here, bam, and we're going to open it up. And under graphics, you're going to select graphics. And when you do so, you're going to see an opportunity to add in your scriptable render pipeline settings. You want to make sure that your universal render pipeline asset is located right here. Now, at this point in time, your scene may turn completely black. If you are actually utilizing an existing project and you've already brought certain things in under an entirely different uh, pipeline, you didn't use, utilize either one of these before and you were just converting in an original project, you're going to have to actually make one more change and that is under edit, you're going to find your, your render pipeline, excuse me, you're going to go to your pipeline itself and you're going to upgrade all of your materials to the render pipeline to make sure that they are operational with uh, our existing lighting. Okay, well, I mean, our, our lighting to be created, not our existing lighting. We have no existing lighting yet. All right, so we are in good shape and we are now ready to actually add some lighting. So guys, let's explore lighting. A short while later. Okay, everyone, sorry about that. I had a little break there. One of my kids got up and she wanted to play Minecraft. Seven years old, it's currently 5.18. <laughs> in the morning and she wanted to play Minecraft. We've been playing a lot of Minecraft at home. If you guys are stuck at home and you're with your kids and you're looking for something to do, guys, uh, right now, or I guess always, Minecraft has uh, realms and you can set up, for each realms account, you can set up a 30-day free trial. So we've been doing the free trial uh, and it's been going pretty good. My kids really like it. We're all playing together. It's super, super fun. Uh, we're all kind of stuck here and we're just kind of working our way through the stuff. They can't build anything yet. They're only seven years old. They're, they're getting better and better at it. Uh, but they, uh, yeah, they really love it. Uh, this video is not <laughs> sponsored by Minecraft. However, if you are listening Microsoft and want to sponsor me, I would love to be sponsored by Microsoft. Uh, well, particularly by, uh, by Mojang arm of Microsoft. Anyway, guys, I'm getting off topic here. Where were we? Oh yes, we were just creating ourselves our lights. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Uh, under game object, you will find under lighting, a new 2D option that's going to be there for you. And you're gonna see all of the experimental lights that are available for your scene. Let's just take a look at these really quick. Freeform light. The freeform light is, is well, first of all, you can see that right away it is affecting my character. If I plop it in place right here and I hit play, uh, you're going to see that it is now lighting my character, which is great. There's my character all lit up. Super awesome. Now, uh, basically what the freeform light allows you to do is it allows you to create any shape that you want with this particular light. It's going to behave in this in the manner that you've just seen there, so it's going to actually light up my characters. Let me just make sure it's selected and make sure it's moved down. I'm just going to move it. Let's say, let's say I'll leave it right here for now. If you look over in the inspector, we've got a diff bunch of different options. We can we can uh, determine how it's falling off, so how what the gradient of the light is actually how it's working. It's got color. It's got a bunch of different stuff here. So, for example, if we wanted to change the color of our light to let's say I don't know green, we could do it. Come on, green, get in there. We could do it. And you can see that right away. I've got green on my character now. So if I move this around, my character's all tinted green. So the light itself is green. Super awesome. Uh, below that, you're going to see an edit shape button for the freeform light. And the edit shape button is going to allow you to either drag the corners out. It starts off as a, as a, simple, uh, as a simple shape, as a simple uh, uh, four-sided polygon. Uh, and it allows you to adjust the shape all around. I can hear my kid getting up again. <laughs> Please go back to bed, little girl. Yeah, I can hear her stomping around. Anyway, here we go. We've got ourselves some green light down here. And you'll note that inside of, along this line right here, along one of the sides of the polygons right now, along the edge, uh, I've got this vertice inserter. And basically I can insert an insert in vertice and I can move that vertice anywhere I want. So I can create pretty much any shape that I desire. So if I wanted to make, I don't know, something that was kind of, I don't know, jagged like this, I could absolutely do it. All right. Oh boy, she's up and she's stomping around. Go back to bed, little girl. It's too early for you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> we've got ourselves this lighting set up here. Awesome. We can create ourselves a, a little bit of light and any shape that we want with the freeform lighting. 
All right, let's take a look at the next light that's available. Under game object, under light, we've got ourselves, oh, a point light. And if, oh, no, no, uh, under 2D, I'm lying to you. I'm like, point light, I don't remember that one. It's down here. Uh, sprite light is the next one we want to do. Sprite light, and basically sprite light allows us to add in, let me move our sprite light out of the way. Uh, sprite light. Let's move our sprite light out of the way. Our sprite light allows us to uh, add in a sprite that's going to be used to kind of mask out the way the light's going to look. All right, so if I go, currently we have set it to none. If I go in here and I choose, I don't know, something, I choose my AK, there we go. We've got ourselves an AK that is shining a light, basically masking out a light shape on the character. Okay, so I can kind of see the AK itself. I can kind of see, if I hit play here, let's, it's easier to see. I can see the AK in the hand, uh, and I can kind of see the underlying stuff through that mask. All right, so there's some very particular things. Maybe if you're using this as a projection or something like that, you might want to use this kind of light. And I'm not suggesting what you're going to use it for and what you're not going to use it for. It's going to be completely up to you. Uh, under game object, under light, under 2D, we now have our parametric light. Okay, and parametric light is similar in nature to our, uh, our freeform light. But with a freeform light, instead of it being uh, instead of it being something we can manipulate directly, you notice we don't have an edit button down here. Uh, we can edit the number of sides uh, that we've got for our polygon. So uh, if we take a look uh, right here under sides, right now it's currently a five shape. By default, it's a five shaped object. But I can set it anywhere from three all the way up to a, a pretty solid circle. All right, so 48 sides. All right, and I can set this any way I want. So if I've got it set up to, let's say, you know, four, uh, and I have the ability to, to rotate this or change the radius or do almost pretty much anything I want, change the color again, I can do all of these things. All right, so all of these things are available to me right here. All right, let's get rid of that one as well. You can set these up. You can use as many lights as you want within your scene. Game object, light. 2D, and let's take a look at our point light. So our point light is kind of like that incandescent bulb uh, that you've got hanging there. It allows light in all directions. Uh, let me move it up here. Boop -a -doop -a -doop. There we go. I've got it in front of my character's face, and once again, this entire thing can be manipulated utilizing some of the tools that are available. So you can see that I can rotate it, I can twist it, I can change the inner and outer fall off, I can change how the light itself is on the scene. I can change a lot of different things with this particular light, all right? It's, it's a pretty powerful light as well. You can change the inner and the outer radius as well. You can change all of these things, all right? Uh, all that's available right here, all right? So if, let's say I, I set this up, I'll make it larger. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I like the, uh, I don't know if I like the way that this particular one to be set up. I, I wouldn't light it like this, obviously. I would light it uh, differently. All right, I would light it differently to make sure that if I had a background, it was showing and that kind of stuff. But I'll just set up so we can see the character for now. Uh, game object, our last light under light is our global light. And our global light will add a light to everything. It'll light up everything within your scene. And you can see how the lights themselves are multiplied. So right now I've got this global light that's been set up on top of the entire thing. And wherever it is meeting the, the point light, I'm actually getting the, the lights multiplied together. All right, so you want to be careful about that because you'll ultimately have, uh, if you have too much light in your scene, it'll, it'll obviously blow the entire thing out. And blend options here to be able to be able to do different things. There's a ton of stuff within the lighting itself, all right? So right now in my scene, I've got this global light that's lighting up everything to a certain degree. I've got myself a point light uh, that I can move around and light up very particular areas. Uh, that's my global light on my point light, which I can move around and light up very particular areas, and I've kind of got this freeform green light in the bottom. When I hit play now, you will note that my character is lit, all right? Uh, lit from the bottom with this, this jaggedy freeform light. His face is well lit, and I've kind of got this global thing lighting up my entire character. Now, whenever I hit any of my animations, we can automatically see them moving, all right? Pistol, two pistols. Now you can see all the stuff that my character has got, all right? He can go from healthy to hurt to near death. All right. And that's basically the 2D lighting system, guys. It's it's experimental right now. It's pretty powerful. It allows you to light up your scene in different ways. There are a lot of really cool, awesome options as far as lighting is concerned. They're not lights like you're used to if you're used to 3D lighting. It's not the same type of lighting, obviously. 
these are more masks than really anything else, uh, lighting masks rather than anything else. Uh, but they work really well, and I think they're going to allow us for a bunch of really cool options as far as lighting our 2D games are concerned. This is actually how I feel right now. <laughs> this is how I feel right now. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this particular episode, and I hope it was helpful to you. I hope you guys are staying safe uh, wherever you're at. If you're stuck inside, you're staying safe. You're staying relatively sane. I know this can be a really, really hard time for a lot of people. Uh, and I'm really sorry if you guys are having a rough time out there. Stay safe and stay well. All right, everyone. I love to hear from you. Please let me know how you're doing down in the comments. Show me the stuff you're working on. I always love to see it. If you like this stuff, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. And you know what? If you've got an idea for a video, let me know that too, guys. I don't mind covering whatever it is people are interested in. All right, everyone. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.